With this current global pandemic, video conferencing tools like Zoom, Skype, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet are changing the way we communicate with one another in business and in our personal lives. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. And if it's your first time here, my name's Stuart. Thanks for joining me. Now today I'm gonna to break down two of the most popular video conferencing tools called Zoom and Google Meet. I'm also gonna help you identify the best tool for you and your video conferencing requirements. Now, just quickly, and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with weekly actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge to grow your small business online. And with that covered, let's identify the best video conferencing software for beginners in 2020. Okay, so let's first jump into the video conferencing software called Zoom. Now, Zoom has been extremely popular during this global pandemic with over 300 million daily meetings compared to alternative tools like Microsoft Teams with around 75 million and Google Meet with over 100 million daily active users. Now, the popularity of Zoom stems from the user-friendly user interface, making it an ideal video conferencing solution for beginners, small teams, and small meetings. Now, Zoom offers a fantastic free solution that allows meetings of up to 100 participants and unlimited time limits on one-on-one -on -one meetings. However, meetings of three or more are limited to 40 minutes. Now, if you require more host features and longer meeting durations, then Zoom offers a super affordable $14.99 plan that has essentially everything you need to host large-scale meetings. However, today we're just going to focus on the free plan for both these video conferencing tools. Now, you can also record meetings with Zoom, both the audio and video. Zoom also also offers a three video view option which means you can view participants in three different formats and one thing we really like about zoom is the simple screen sharing features you also have access to an innovative virtual white background for simple demonstrations. These screen sharing options make teaching, training and education through Zoom hassle-free and streamlined. Another great feature of Zoom is the virtual backgrounds option, allowing you to add a video or image in the background of your video behind you. However, this can look a bit strange if you don't have a plain background behind you or a green screen and uniform lighting. It's also easy to schedule meetings with Zoom Therefore, we believe that Zoom's free plan is a great video conferencing option for teachers, students, educators, and small meetings. Next, we want to compare Google Meet, which is becoming equally as popular as Zoom. Now, Google Meet has similar features to Zoom. However, unfortunately, the free version of Google Meet does not allow you to record meetings. And unlike Zoom, you cannot access a virtual whiteboard or use virtual backgrounds. Now, where Google Meet outperforms Zoom is the ease of use for absolutely anyone. You can simply join or host a meeting from your your Gmail account or just head over to google.meet if you are one of the few people that does not have a Google account and you can simply join or host a meeting through this web version. This basically makes Google Meet an ideal solution for complete beginners as you don't need to download any software. Now, one of our favorite features of using Google Meet is the live captions. This is a great feature. Basically, you can choose to turn these on or off and these live captions make it even easier to communicate communicate to anyone, especially elderly or individuals that suffer from hearing loss. Also, like Zoom, Google Meet allows up to 100 participants and 60 minutes per meeting, which is an extra 20 minutes over Zoom, which is limited at 40 minutes per meeting. Also, until September 30th, Google Meet allows meetings up to 24 hours, so make use of that until it's no longer free. Google Meet is also more secure than Zoom. Personally, I think Google Meet is a more sharp video conferencing tool and easier for complete beginners. Now, if you require more advanced features, what you can do is actually get a G Suite account. And with the different paid options with a G Suite account, you get access to more advanced features. 
Both Google Meet and Zoom have live chat features and both these tools have a downloadable application for iOS and Android, so on your mobile device. And again, both these tools allow you to schedule meetings. Essentially, Google Meet is a better option for beginners wanting a clean, simple meeting. Great for small or medium-sized businesses to stay connected via video conferencing. So both these video conferencing tools are great options. Each tool has their own advantages and disadvantages. Therefore, we recommend that you test each option out with your teams, friends and family and identify which tool satisfies your video conferencing requirements. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's video comparison between Google Meet and Zoom. Now if you want to get started with any of these video conferencing tools, then make sure you click the link up above or in our description below this video. Now if you have any questions about this video guide, make sure you pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value from this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up below the video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and that way, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.